Happy Friday, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing uh, some old school Bowman's Best 2015. Bowman's Best Baseball, eight box, random team break number 16 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. A big thank you to these folks for getting into the action. We only sold 29 spots because we throw out the Padres and I guess they don't have anything in this set. Let's randomize each list, four and a three, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. After seven times, we have Brian Crouch on the pole and Alan Murdoch in the number 29 spot. There you go. Once again, four and a three, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we got the Brew Crew on top and the A's on the bottom. All the other teams in between. So here's how the list shakes out for y'all. Brian, you got the Brew Crew. Karen with the Rays. Wade, you got the Cubs. Nice. Scott Cooper with the Nationals. DC with the Rockies. Tyler with the Marlins. Coop, you got the Mariners. Big Boys 007 Reds. Victor Z with the White Sox. DC with the Red Sox. Coop with the Dodgers. Tyler with the Braves. TJ with the Giants, JKJ with the Pirates, Scott, you got the Royals, uh, Tyler with the Orioles, Last Spot Mojo, Phillies, J-Mac with the Twins, EA with the Yankees, Coop with the Indians, EA with the Jays, John, you got the Astros, Coop with the Angels, Chris with the Diamondbacks, Coop with the Rangers and the Tigers, Tyler with the Mets, Mike Koontz, Cardinals, Alan Murdoch, A's. Let's alphabetize these by team. And let me know if there's any trades, folks. Remember here, I'll drop the checklist in the chat again, but remember the old 2015 checklist. <laughs> Tyler's like, not a very good random for you. It'll be, well, we'll wait until afterwards. We'll wait until after the break. Because if you hit, it's it, it was a very good random for you. If you don't hit, then yeah, not a very good random. You could get whatever the perceived best team is here. And if they don't hit, not a very good random for that person. If the Cubs or Astros don't hit, basically, in 2015, not a good random. If your team's hit instead, Tyler, very good random. All right, any trades? TJ's trying to move the Giants. Tyler Stumpf likes the Giants. TJ, any any teams that you like of Tyler's? He's got Braves, Orioles, Marlins, Mets, and Phillies. Remember the 2015 checklist, you guys. And there's the case of 2015 right there, folks. He would do Braves, Tyler. Does that do anything for you? I honestly, I don't know what the Braves have in the checklist. It's been so long. But I, th I feel like my gut says it sounds fair. All right, confirm, says Tyler. Excellent. Trade window close after that. So now, TJ, you have the Braves. And Tyler, you have you now have the Giants. Let's put a little T right there to let people know that that was part of a trade. So that way, when you get your uh, when you get your hits in the mail, you'll be like, "Oh yeah, I have a little T next to my name. That means trade." That's right, yeah, that's right, TJ is like, I'm a Dodgers guy, can't have the Giants. Especially not on the first day of spring training games, TJ. Dodgers crushed the White Sox today. It's game one of spring training, so we're all supposed to overreact. 
Dodgers are going 162 and 0. It's clear that that it's clear that that's what's going to happen. They're going to sweep their way through the playoffs. All right, there you go, folks. Good luck, everybody. Here is the final list. On the 23rd, Jordan. Happy Friday, everybody. And Sweet 16, Bowman's best baseball from back in 2015, back in the day. Going a little old school. There you go. Good luck, everybody. The final printout, final list. It's been a while since we've done this. There's two, there's four, there's six, and there's eight. Eight boxes, full case break. Configuration is, is the same. Familiar Bohm is best configuration. Same amount of hits, similar level of parallels, etc., etc. Good luck, everyone. Oh, already a high def card. Some of those are autographed. That particular one was not. I think everybody saw who that was. Second mini box. Are all those bottom packs the high def ones or the top packs? Good luck, everybody. All right, we're going to start off with Kyle Tucker. There you go, for the Astros. Nice one for the Strohs. That'll be for John and the Astros. Part of that young farm system that they have out there. It's Francisco Lindor. Everyone's familiar with these mirror image cards. We'll randomize these left and right. Tyler Glass now, Phil Bickford. And there's Phil Bickford again, this time an autograph. For the Giants, that goes to Tyler, who draws first blood in the trade. Still plenty of time to make it up, make that trade up and balance it out. It's King Felix, 67 out of 99 green for the Mariners. That goes to Coop and the Mariners. There he is again. And we saw the high def card, Chris Bryant. It goes into a 130. It's a pretty thick card stock on this. There we go. Nice. Some of these you'll see numbered, some of these you'll see autographed. Some of you, them you'll see the, uh, the atomic refractor on there. So that goes to the Cubs and Wade with the Cubs. Let's give up that Francisco Lindor too. All right, let's go to this side. Behind Carlos Rodon is Rafael Devers. Rafael Devers autograph for the Red Sox, DC with the Bo Sox. Nice hit. It's 
some of these first impression autographs are also autographed. And there's Garrett Whitley, Tampa Bay Rays. Rays auto going to Karen and the Rays. There's Jason Kipnis, 102 out of 150. And the high def is Raphael Devers. Another one for DC. And the Kipnis will go to the Tribe. That'll be for Scott Cooper. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right, solid start with the first box, second box. Good luck, everybody. the high def cards okay I'm gonna save those oh there's that high def card All right that goes there I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to slow play those because I know some of those. There's a possibility of autographs, possibility of uh, of uh, serial number parallels and whatnot. So, and they're cool looking. All right. Good luck, folks. The first autograph is behind Jacob deGrom, and it's a red team. It's Taylor Ward, Angels. Taylor Ward for the Angels, that goes to Scott Cooper and the Halos. Clayton Kershaw Atomic Refractor. Those will all ship, of course. Looks like the next autograph. Adam Wainwright. Uh, looks like Mariners colors, maybe? Alex Jackson, Seattle Mariners. And that'll be for Scott Cooper. All right, on this side, we've got Eduardo Rodriguez reveals a Grant Holmes for the Dodgers. Although he's uh, in Oakland A now, I think. This will still go to the Dodgers. That'll be for Scott Cooper. Nice Aaron Judge. Yasiel Puig as well. There you go. Still a minor league when everyone's like, eh, what could he possibly be? Who could he be? What could he be? Next autograph is Blake Snell. There you go. Blake Snell's doing all right. For the Rays, Karen with the Rays. And Jose Altuve for the Astros. 27 out of 99. Nice green parallel for the Strohs. John with the Strohs. Nice, and there you go.
Giancarlo Stan, you saw that already. That was your atomic, or not your atomic, your uh, high def card. For the Marlins, of course, that goes to Tyler. And on this side, we have Archie Bradley for the Diamondbacks. Chris Parent with the D-backs. Hi, Lee. How's it going? We've had some solid stuff. Nothing, nothing monstrous yet, though. But we just finished our second box. Here's our third box. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, we also have 2016 uh, Bowman's Best Baseball. Pick your team. And then once that fills, uh, we'll take the people in this current break right now, 2015 break, and the 2016 break. We'll put them all together in one big list and give away this Bowman hat. Right? Nice. Got it from the Tops Industry Conference last weekend. So a little bit of our swag going to you. That's the high def card right there. That's the other high def card as well. Leo, oh, you know a few people who are giving them away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're giving ours away. I think Nick has another hat too. I don't know if, I think we gave some to our Jaspi, one of them to our Jaspi team members. And another one I think someone is keeping. And then I think that one's mine. I'm giving mine away. Yeah, there's Industry Conference Syndergaard. Did we get an Industry Conference Syndergaard auto? I'll have to double check. I feel like I either saw one or we got one. Every day they gave away an encased card, which is awesome. I think Bossman got a really nice one of one Adrian Beltre. All right, behind Mass and Bumgarner is Tyler Stevenson for the Reds. He, he's an up-and-coming prospect for the Reds. This is a, actually a pretty solid one, Big Boys 007. Yeah, Lee, I'll, I'll double... Remind me after this break is over. I'll double check. Either I saw one or we got one, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. I just, I just need to double check and, and figure out for sure. But yeah, there were, there were a lot of great autographs that were being given away every day at the conference, which was, which was very, very neat. Oh, well, red any guesses on the redemption? I forget who those redemptions were back in the day. It's been a long time since we've done this. All right, behind Sonny Gray is Dylan Tate for the Rangers. I don't know what's going to happen with Dylan Tate. He's with the Yankees organization now. This goes to still goes to the Rangers. Scott Cooper. High round draft pick, but hasn't quite gotten there yet. Oh, are these redemptions expired already? Well, hopefully you, you can uh, convince Tops to send it to you. Mookie Betts reveals a rock. A Brendan Rodgers. Nice. Nice Brendan Rodgers for the Rockies. DC with the Rockies. Rodgers' path is kind of blocked, I think. But I think it's too good of a prospect to, to hold down, I think. Ooh, Aaron Judge. I've heard of this guy. Remember back in 2015 when this came out? Who cares about this guy in 2000 when this was released? Everyone's like, meh. But now, obviously, kind of a big deal. Yankees, that goes to EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, the redemption is Francisco Lindor. Oh, it expired in December. Surely Tops would 
Help him out, Tops. Green parallel as well? Surely. Well, it is expired. Uh, so that is the risk, Scott Cooper. Indians. However, um, contact them. See, 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 see what they see what they uh, will do. Because the exp expiration date is so recent, you know, it's not like it's like a year old or anything like that. And it's such a nice hit. I think they'll. I think they'll be. They'll work something out with you. J Max says they'll hook you up. I'm thinking they would too on a hit like that. All right. The high def cards. Yeah, they usually still do it, right, Reggie? Ooh, nice Corey Seager, my boy Corey Seager. For the Dodgers, Scott Cooper with that. And Adam Jones for the O's, that'll go to Tyler. There's Adam Jones. All right, there you go. Next box. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I read your question, Lee, and then I zoned out on it. I think I must have pulled a hit. I read it, and then I didn't respond to it. I was like, answer that question for Lee when you're done. Uh, yes, we do. We have one more case of 2015, which is already on the site. And then uh, after the 2016 case that's currently on the site sells out, we will have one more to post after that. And then that's it. I think we're, I don't know the exact uh, date of when we're gonna get it, but I'm pretty sure we, uh, we have tried to get some more 2017 as well. So just be on the lookout for that, folks. Remember, it's, all, it's always first come, first serve. So just, just keep pounding that refresh button. Check the website every day. Oh, me too, Gavin. I'm sure we'll get to that tonight. All right, this is Pick Your Team, Random Team 16, Sweet 16. So thanks for hanging out with us on a Friday night, folks. Like I said, we do have another 2015 Bowman's Best Baseball uh, on the site right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Then we also have the following year, uh, 2016 Bowman's Best Baseball, a Pick Your Team break. So be sure to check those out. All right. Good luck. We've got a red, maybe Reds, Red Sox. Tyler J, Twins. Tyler J for the Twins. J Mac. There you go, Justin. Justin with the Twins. Nice. I think they're counting on him to be, to emerge as a solid starter for them in the next year or two. What's great about this 2015 set is you start to see some of the younger players that were just twinkles in prospect and scouts' eyes starting to emerge as potentially potential starters, I guess. Looks like a Cub. No, a Yankee, Jorge Mateo. Bad with that guessing game. Jorge Mateo for the Yankees. That goes to EA Sports in the game. Oh, right. Well, I, I know what twin you want, J-Mac. I don't know. A lot of boxes left. Uh, looks like a, gotta be a White Sox, right? Carson Fulmer. A wow, big autograph for him too. He was he got excited on that one. Carson Fulmer for Victor Z in the Chicago White Sox.
Nice one, Victor. First impressions, Josh Naylor. Julio Udias, who should be back later this summer. And James Caprillian for the Yankees. Oh, I think it was Justin Lee. J Mac wanted, uh, probably wants a Buxton, I think, out of this. Yeah, I did hear about Brent Honeywell as well. I think he was going to get a lot of opportunities in that rotation. Tyler Kolek, 26 out of 99 for the uh, Marlins. Tyler Stump for the Marlins. Oh, J Mac would want either. Bucks and Orsino. Or both. Why not both? Nice. Yeah, it does kind of look like a butterfly, right? Look at that. The high def card, number one, is... Look at this Buster right here. Buster Posey. Tyler with the Buster Posey. Tyler getting something from on the other side of that trade. And then we've got Hunter Harvey for the O's. It also goes to Tyler. So Tyler with the high def cards from that box. All right. We're, uh, we're halfway through this full case break. Four boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. So hold on, Lee. So which ones are which ones? Do you know which ones are live, and which ones are redemptions for Buxton? Like, are certain parallels live, but the base autos are are live, and the parallels are redemptions? Or do you remember? Those are the high def ones. Uh, so the Bucks and Bass autos are live. Oh. The high def card is, is different. Did you see it already, Tyler? It's Buster Posey again, but this time it's orange. Three out of 25. Wow. So there you go. We gotta try to even it out for TJ now in the Braves. Buster Posey out of 25. Oh, I see, so have you tried redeeming it, Lee? And what did, uh, and if so, what did, what did Top say? Because Lee's telling, relating the story that he got a green parallel he pulled one of those a couple weeks ago. All right, this seems to be a different insert auto here. All right, behind Joey Gallo is Newman, Kevin Newman. Kevin Newman going to the Pirates. That'll be for JKJ. Francisco Lindor, Atomic. Those are pretty nice. And look at this. Diamondbacks edition of Dansby Swanson. That goes to Chris Parent and the Diamondbacks. Nice. That is pretty strong. Nice Lindor for the Indians, too. That goes to Coop. Oh, okay, so you try to redeem it online. The Bucks, the 2015... Buxton parallel autograph online denied, but a friend told you that you should. Yeah, I think you should call them too. I think usually for for something like that of a higher end player, 
especially a parallel and since the redemption date or the expiration date is so close it's only like the end of December we're only like two months into this year so I would think that they would be a little more accommodating it's not like you're trying to redeem something a year from like that expired a year ago Carlos Beltran reveals a Shelby Miller nice Shelby Miller autograph that is 13 out of 50 Nice. Actually, it's kind of funny that we pulled a Dansby Swanson because Shelby Miller went the other way on that trade. Ooh. Ooh. Some sorcery there? Some Illuminati stuff going on. So this goes to TJ. There you go, TJ. And the next auto is blue. That looks like Dodger blue or maybe Cub blue. Wow, nice. This is your potential 2018 Rookie of the Year. Walker Bueller. Nice. It has a good chance at opening, at being on the opening day roster. But we'll most likely start the first month or two in AAA, maybe. Might bring up a little bit more slowly. Uh, that goes to Scott Cooper and my Dodgers. That's a big hit. We got Todd Frazier to 99 for the Reds. There's Brendan Rodgers in the back. Nice. I do. I do think he's going to shine, J-Mac. I think if, if, if Ronald Acuna for the Braves didn't exist, I think he would have a pretty good chance at Rookie of the Year. Because I don't know, aside from Acuna, I don't know if there's any rookies that may... I mean, you never... I, mean, I don't know what's going to happen, obviously, but... I've heard of this guy, Mike Trout. But uh, yeah, I, th I think all indications... The only wrinkle for Walker Bueller is I think he's... he uh, His first year after Tommy John was last year. So he didn't, he didn't really pitch a lot, a lot of innings last year. But he crushed in the minors. But if he's feeling healthy, I think they're just going to unleash him. And Henry Owens. So the Angels high def card goes to Coop. And the Red Sox high def card goes to DC. Don with that one. There you go. Nice, TJ. Well, hopefully, TJ, you... Hopefully you will never see him again in your neck of the woods. Because I don't, I don't think, I don't, I don't think he's. I mean, I hope he doesn't. Unless it's like a rehab star or something like that. Yeah, Nick Senzel should be a pretty, pretty big one this year. But if it's a if it's a weak offensive class, if it's a weak offensive class, usually the the pitchers really don't have to do really don't have to do too much to get rookie of the year. I, I've noticed. You know they don't have to put together like a Jose Fernandez kind of season. R.I.P. Oh, and Sam Golden. After this, uh, nothing's filled up. No no break is filled up after this. So we've got a couple mixers that are close. We've got 2016 Bowman's Best as well, among other, other things on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Jake Cohen, let me ask you, would you let Bueller go if a team was willing to take Kemp's out off your hands? Well, no. Someone else would have to come back the other way too. If that someone is... If that someone is Chris Archer? Maybe. You know, Chris Archer has a unique combination of upside as well as team control. More like, you know, more team control. But no, I mean, just one for just Bueller plus Kemp. 
just for a salary dump? No, I don't think the, I don't think I would do that. I don't think the Dodgers would do that. All right. Oh, the first autographs is usually right here. All right. First autograph is Ash Russell for the Royals. That goes to Scott Smith and the Kansas City Royals. And the next auto is maybe a Cub, maybe a Blue Jay, Max Pentecost. I think they do want to ditch that salary pretty badly, but not bad enough to give up Walker Bueller. I think they would, I think they would, um, uh, this goes to EA Sports and the Blue Jays. I think they, they'll just designate him for assignment at worst and just eat it as opposed to giving up anybody. Hanley Ramirez, or anybody significant, 43 out of 99. The, although, Jay, Matt Kemp came into camp 40 pounds lighter. You know, he had a good game today in his, in his first game. There, there's, there's talk that, you know, if Kemp has a good spring, he either starts in center or it starts in left field uh, or it's just easier to trade. Cody Medeiros. For the Brew Crew, that goes to Brian Crouch and the Brewers. Verdu See, that might, that's a little more interesting. But again, it, it just wouldn't be for a salary dump. They'd, the Dodgers would want players back for Kemp. And if it's Kemp plus Verdugo equals something else, you know, maybe the Dodgers pay like half of Kemp's salary or something like that. You know, we'd eat a little bit of salary if we're going to give up a prospect like Verdugo and then try to get others back. Maybe like a more established starting pitcher or something like that. Maybe a second baseman if uh, if Logan Forsyth is not the answer. Dodgers have been looking for a second baseman for a little bit. These cards are worth saving. There's Aaron Judge. But here's the thing though, Jay. I know they don't like Matt Kemp's uh, current contract, but they only have to eat that contract for a year. The big point is that they're they're very much under the the salary, the luxury tax threshold. Ooh, another redemption. They're under the luxury tax threshold, so so that was the big key. So there's they don't necessarily have to move him. They, they'd like to move him a lot, but they don't necessarily have to because they're already under the tax now. That was the big important thing. I don't think we're going to be adding anybody else, though, free agent-wise. Uh, where, is, where, is, where is he? Orioles? I think they're like $20 million under the salary tax. Oh, is he still on this team? I think he is. Yeah, this is uh, Dixon Machado. Also expires late. Um, you, you're going to have to... Uh, you'll probably have to call them. Because uh, Regicidal was mentioning that that uh, if, you, if you just redeem it online, it's going to get denied just because of that ex expiration date. But if you take the time to call Tops, Scott Cooper... Sure they'll, I'm sure they'll accommodate you. Yeah, 15, 15, 20 million, something like that. It, well under, but I mean, but not enough to like add to sign like you Darvish basically, or any, anyone else kind of big, or like JD Martin or, or or whatever you know. I think they just want to get under that cap, and then I think next year, once Kemp is off the books and other other guys are off the books, there's Luis Severino, for the Yankees EA. Uh, then I think they're going to chase like Manny Machado or Bryce Harper or any one of the big free agents. Uh, not this off season, but the f after 2019. Or after this season, actually. After this season. David Ortiz, Red Sox, DC. Yeah, exactly. Just getting ready to give Harper that $500 million deal. And re-sign uh, Clayton Kershaw. Because he can, he can opt out after 2018. 
after the 2018 season. So they got to re-sign him. Although he might not. With the way free agency went this year, maybe he maybe he's maybe he got it. Maybe him and his representation got a little nervous. They're like, ooh, do we do we risk opting out? I think that I think the Dodgers might be might be low key in on Bryce Harper. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna they're gonna get into a bidding war with Bryce Harper, but if they if they offer Harper like a fair deal, you know, and if Harper's like convinced that the Dodgers are the place he wants to be, for whatever reason, you know, I think the Dodgers will pull the trigger on that. I can see Machado. I, th I feel like Machado makes more sense, though. He's He'll be cheaper. He'll be, still be expensive. Manny Machado will be cheaper than Bryce Harper, I think. I don't think he'll be, he's going to get that kind of hype. And uh, I really think that, you know, listen, I like Justin Turner a lot, but he's not getting any younger. I feel like they could that, that could move Turner to maybe, you know, Turner will play anywhere. You know, he could play left field. Maybe keep Bellinger at first. Or maybe Machado will push, will slide Corey Seager over to second. Second base has always been a bit of an issue for the Dodgers. So maybe they, yeah, maybe you slide Corey Seager to second, right? Machado's always wanted to play shortstop. So you you put Machado at short, right? If this is the baseball diamond right here, you, you move Seager to second base. You keep Machado at shortstop, which is what he wants. Keep Turner at third. Bellinger could always play left field a little bit. And, and move Turner over if he needs a little rest. That slides Machado over. That slides someone else over. That brings up someone at second base. You can always play with that rotation. Here's the good thing. Machado is more flexible positionally than Bryce Harper is. And the Dodgers really like moving their players around. You know, that's kind of like the thing for the front office. They, they really enjoy that. So Machado definitely makes more baseball sense. And he's cheaper. Alex Reyes... Last year was supposed to be his breakout year, but then he got injured. So this year will be his breakout year, Cardinals. That'll be Mike Koontz. This guy could be a front of the rotation guy. All right, another reddish team right here. Luke Weaver, also for the Redbirds. I know, right? Isn't that isn't that crazy, Jay Cohen? Jay's like, yeah, Joe, you're saying cheaper. Like Machado's gonna get three hundred million plus, and he's cheaper than Harper. I know, I know. It's kind of it's kind of crazy to say it like that, but I realized how funny that sounded as soon as it came out of my mouth. I was like, yeah, I'm saying it's he's cheaper. <laughs> it's all relative, of course. Justin Upton, out of one fifty. Let me tell you, though, the owners can afford it. Don't believe them when they cry poor. I'm on the player side. Justin Upton. This is Padres edition of Justin Upton. That goes to... What is the, oh, there's no Padres. Oh, so this will be randomized to someone in the break. So at the end, I'll randomize uh, the Padres to somebody. All right, behind Eduardo Rodriguez is... Mariano Rivera. Not that one. But his kid. So that goes to Scott Cooper and the Nationals. It's pretty cool. It's almost got as nice of an auto as old dad. All right. And Trent Clark for the Brew Crew is the next one. Brian Crouch with that one. Mentor, what's going on? And we got a gold. Nick Gordon. Four out of 50. Haven't found ink for you yet, J-Mac, but it's a nice parallel. D's brother. 
Tom's kids. Flash. All right, so this is is indeed a randomizer, TJ. So any any other uh, Padres cards that that will ship, like Vet Base doesn't ship, as everyone knows, but if there's any other Padres cards, those will also ship to whoever wins it at the end. High def, Kyle Schwarber. That goes to Wade and the Cubs. And Nelson Cruz. That goes to the Mariners, Scott Cooper. All right. Last box, ladies and gentlemen. But no, I didn't see how much weight Schorber lost. Matt Kemp lost 40 pounds. Did you see that? That guy looks like his. Uh, it looks like it's his rookie year. Matt Kemp's like, I gotta, I gotta put 40 pounds off of, my, off of my bum hip and my, my, my degenerating knees. Now, how much weight does Schwarber lose? Schwarber's always been kind of a, kind of a chunky sort of dude. That's probably a good thing. Miggy too, huh? No, I didn't. I got, I gotta look that up. That's good. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that those top ones are there. Tyler Glass now is your high def card for the Pirates. That goes to JKJ. This is a 120. I need a 130. These are both all 120. Lies. Well, we got two autographs, so four autographs left. Tyler. Right? Yeah, we got four autographs left, so hopefully a hot Noah Syndergaard will be in your hot little hands. That will that'll make Regicidal jealous though. I'll have to I'll have to tell Lee like earmuffs or like cover his eyes before that happens. Or I might as well do the other one right here. Alright, there's I don't know if this is gonna make Regicidal jealous. Kevin Plowecki, Plowicki, is he your future catcher, Lee? I actually don't even know if he's on, still on the roster. But that still goes to Tyler and the Mets. All right, last two mini boxes. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for the fill. Um, let's fill up 2016, the pick your team number 39, because in this current pick your team, or this current random team 16, plus the people in Pick Your Team 39 will all be randomized for a chance at the Bowman hat that I got at the Topps Industry Conference. The Topps guys and gals were, were awesome. And they uh, hooked us up with all sorts of stuff. Kind of helped us pay for the trip. Yeah. Only I have the power of links, Lee. Just uh, email it to the Jaspi account. I'll look at it. Yeah, I, I want to see see Stick Schorber. Skinny Stick Schorbs. Do we call him Skinny Sticks now? Oh, nice. The one per case atomic high def card. Yasmani Tomas. That goes to Chris Parent and the Diamondbacks. Just Google Kyle Schorber skinny, okay. I feel like I'm almost looking at like some sort of TMZ, like like some celebrity gossip thing. Look how skinny Khloe Kardashian got. All right, Mikhail Franco. Yoan Lopez, another diamond back for Chris Parent. Should we just show the people right now in the video, Lee? This break is going long enough anyway. I might as well just make it an hour at this point. Kyle Schorber. Kyle Schorber skinny just automatically comes up in my uh, in my Google thing. All right, so credit to ESPN.com on this. 
Don't give me an ad. D okay. <laughs> Is that Kyle Schwarber? That's not him. He wants to be a gold glover. Is that really Kyle Schwarber? Wow. Some sort of lean, mean fighting machine. Sean Newcomb for the Angels. Why did this break take so long? Are we just goofing off? <laughs> Sean Newcomb for the Angels. Scott Cooper. Yeah, just not used to seeing this product, so that's why we ended up going a little slow. 47 out of 50, Garrett Cole for the Pirates. That goes to Joe Cavanaugh Jr. Nothing's filled up yet, though. All right. Behind Michael Waka 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 is Trey Turner. Nice. On card auto for the Nationals. Scott Cooper. Well, that's good. Good for Kyle Shore. It's always good to lose little, little LBSs. I feel like we can all lose a little LBS. Aaron Nola. Nice. Wow. Two nice autographs to close out this break. That is Aaron Nola for the Phillies. Tyler Stump, last spot mojo. Strikes again. I feel like 80% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. I like Aaron Nola. He's got a nice autograph, too. All right, and that is that. Thanks, everybody. Let's do a quick randomizer, left-right randomizer, and then all Padres. Let's do this quickly. Left, right, randomizer, and then everybody gets a chance at the Padres. So any and all Padres cards that are in there. Let's randomize each list. Two and a one, three times. One, two, and three. So after three times, left side. So all the left side teams will get these, uh, these regular mirror image cards. And then for that particular parallel and any other Padres that there may have been, once again, two and a one, three times for the entire list. Name on top. One, two, and three. After three times, name on top is Alan Murdoch. There you go, Alan. You'll get that uh, Justin Upton card. Be a little consolation for you. Thank you very much for getting in. Thanks, everybody. There's more on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.